The same thing happened in Egypt. Egypt today has been reduced to abject poverty and destitution, the masses. While some Egyptians are riding on the gravy train, oh yes, living a good life. The Egyptian masses are in poverty and destitution because of riba. And yet the world of Islamic scholarship cannot recognize and would not stand up and wage a jihad against riba. These two that occurred in Tunisia and in Egypt, I noticed that the Tunisian armed forces eventually backed out. And the Egyptian armed forces from day one adopted a soft policy. A suspiciously docile policy, the Egyptian armed forces. And so the head was cut off. And Zainul Abidin fled, and Hosni Mubarak fled. But guess what? The armed forces still remain in charge. The same Egyptian armed forces who prevented the Palestinians in Gaza four years ago, who were being slaughtered, and Egypt blocked the passageway that you could not come into Egypt and no supplies to go to them to help them. That same Egyptian armed forces still in control in Egypt. You can fool the others, you can't fool me. These were uprisings. And they have already fulfilled the purpose for which it was intended. And that is that after the uprisings take place, the armed forces will then announce elections. And I was able to recognize six, eight months ago that these elections are going to win, result in runaway victory for the Islamic parties. And that's what Israel wants. And that's what the Egyptian armed forces want. And that's what happened. But in Libya it was different. In Libya, they planned an insurrection and a huge amount of arms was secretly ferried into Libya. Where could it have come from? Not from the air, not from the sea. It had to come from Egypt. It could not have come from Egypt without the knowledge of the Egyptian armed forces. And I suspect that the Egyptian armed forces were up to it in their neck in sending those arms over to Libya. And so that the Egyptian armed forces are part and parcel of the effort to bring about an insurrection in Libya. So who is the Egyptian armed force is working for. I see an uncanny link between the Egyptian armed forces and NATO, between the Egyptian armed forces and Israel. Because of these, these remarks I am not making now, I cannot travel to Egypt anymore. Even though there are large numbers of students of mine in Egypt begging me to come. But the truth has to be spoken, regardless of the price we have to pay. The Egyptian armed forces have played a significant role in bringing about the Libyan insurrection.